सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टार्टेड विथ इक्वेशन ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी ओके सो इन एडिशन टू इक्वेशन ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी बर्नोलिज प्रिंसिपल इज आल्सो लाइक बोथ दी प्रिंसिपल्स कंबाइन टुगेदर यू कैन सॉल्व लॉट ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल्स एंड आल्सो दीज प्रिंसिपल्स हैज हैव लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशंस इन लाइफ लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल यू कैन हाउ द एयरक्राफ्ट लिफ्ट इज जनरेटेड how the aircraft uh, normally the aircraft weight will be acting downward so uh, how do we explain that we, what is that thing which is lifting the aircraft okay that can be explained using bernoulli's principle okay there are many other things which can be used uh, which can be explained using uh, equation of continuity and bernoulli's principle so in the last class what we have discussed is uh, equation of continuity which is uh, conservation of mass okay so we are seeing that uh, if there are two cross sections okay so if you have uh, two cross sections like a1 b1 is equal to a2 b2 mm. it means uh, whatever mass is entering at one section same mass has to go out one at another section because mass cannot be destroyed or mass mm. cannot be created okay. okay so even einstein's equation e is equal to m mc square that means energy uh, by destroying the mass you can create the energy that so uh, mass cannot be destroyed nor it can be created so because of the conservation of mass that leads to equation of continuity okay so like we say at uh, there are we have one you you have one one section okay so you have uh, area of cross section a1 you have area of cross section a2 okay so um, let us say the mass is entering here and the mass is going out here okay mm. so um, let us say the mass is entering at a velocity b1 okay so if you draw how much mass is entering here it will be like kind of a cylinder okay so this is this is that cylinder mm. where your area is a1 and this length is b1 right yeah. a1 b1 so this much of mass is entering there okay so a1 b1 similarly this here this is a smaller area so here uh, the mass the uh, the velocity at which it is exiting is v2 and uh, um, it will be a cylinder like this right it will be a cylinder like this okay so this will be like area is a2 and velocity is v2 okay so how we are getting like so because of conservation of mass m1 has to be equal to m2 right so m1 uh, what is a m1 it is nothing but your a1 b1 into rho1 right and this is a2 b2 into rho2, rho2. okay so uh, here actually this is not mass instead it is mass flow rate so when it is mass flow rate we put a dot on this yeah. okay so the mass flow rate per second, second okay the mass flow per second so the unit of mass flow rate is kg, kg per, per second, second okay so this is mass flow rate right m dot right. okay so m1 dot is equal to m2 dot okay so this is equation of conservation of mass okay yes. so whatever liquid is flowing uh, in it has to go out okay so that's the thing so and again we know liquid like uh, water and all they are incompressible so that's the reason why rho1 is equal to rho2 okay so okay. density is equal okay so if density is equal this can be cancelled out okay so a1 v1 so that's why a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 so that is the equation of continuity okay yes so this is the equation of continuity uh, so here what you are uh, you, you can observe it here this a2 is less than a1 right you can see here a2 is less than a1 okay so if a2 is less than a1 that implies b2 is greater than b2 is greater than b1 okay so oh, if b2 is greater than b1 this whatever i have drawn now you will feel that this velocity because of because of reduction in cross section because be of reduction in cross section this b2 Big will b2. be greater than b1 you can see the uh, longer lines okay yes. b2 is greater than b1 okay so based on this principle uh, there are many things uh, uh, like i remember um, once my teacher was telling like when water is coming out from your tap okay so let us say this is this is my tap okay so this is the tap so when the water is coming out from your tap tap so as it goes down 
what will happen the water area will keep on decreasing and finally it will be drops of water yeah right how do we explain this phenomena why the area of projection of water is decreasing it, are you listening uh, carefully yeah. okay so when area is when it is going down why the area is decreasing and finally it is getting converted to drops of water because when the water is going down there is acceleration due to gravity is acting on this okay so what will happen like uh, because acceleration due to gravity so you know v is equal to u plus at right v is equal to u plus at so uh, like say here in this case uh, let us say the velocity is u1 okay but what is acting here u1 plus plus g is acting acceleration due to gravity is acting okay okay so uh, let us say at the end of first second it will be u1 plus g into 1 right at the end of second uh, when it is 2 second after 2 second it will be u1 plus g into 2 right after the end of 3 second it will be u1 into g plus g into 3 right so the velocity so let us say this is at the beginning of second first second this is at the second t is equal to 2 let us say this is t is equal to 3 so when uh, as time progresses this water what is falling down the velocity of it is increasing okay so because the velocity is increasing like say v3 is greater than v2 is greater than v1 right v3 is greater than v2 is greater than v1 okay so if this is happening that means a3 will be less than a2 is less than a1 that means the area of cross section of water that is falling from the tap will keep on decreasing and finally it will come to a condition when it will be water drops only okay so that when velocity when acceleration due to gravity is acting on a free or freely falling body it's because of the acceleration the velocity will go on increasing right so because the velocity is going on increasing area of cross section of that water that is flowing will keep on decreasing so that that's what you can see here the velocity has increased that's why the area of cross section has decreased okay so this uh, the when the water is falling from the tap the gradual in, decrease of area of cross section can be explained using equation of continuity okay so that is uh, a recap of equation of continuity then we will derive this uh, bernoulli's equation okay you can take a picture of this so the mass flow rate here is kg per second whereas if you make it a1 b1 it will be meter cube per second okay a1 b1 is nothing but your volume flow rate okay so a1 b1 is volume flow rate when it multiply it by mass it will uh, multiply it by density it will become mass flow rate okay okay so with with a recap of equation of continuity we can go to bernoulli's bernoulli's principle okay oh so always remember this a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 it comes from a1 v1 rho1 and a2 v2 rho2 because rho1 is equal to rho2 water is incompressible the density does not change that's why it will be uh a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 okay so uh, let us uh, draw a kind of a pipe okay so let us as per your book so let us draw a pipe okay so this is my pipe let us say okay so this is a pipe okay so um, let us say this pipe is at height so let us say this is my datum plane okay so let us say this is my pipe is the center line of the cross section 1 okay so 
So let us say this is my this is my one, this is my two, right? So this is my point, okay? So this is my height, okay? So a pi uh, from the reference of datum plane, it is at a height h one, and the section two is at a height h two, okay? So this is uh, um, this is my pi. Whether it is written del t or del l, what is written? The small one. Del t. Del t. Oh. V1 del t. V1 del t, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so, um, so at this point, my let us say there will be a pressure. Okay, when uh, uh, let us say my pressure is equal to P1. Okay, there will my pressure is equal to P1, and uh, yeah. So let us say. Uh, this is my okay. Let us say this is my a one. Okay, so this is a one. This is p one. Okay, my area is equal to my area is equal to okay. Press it. So my area is equal to a one and my pressure is equal to p one. Okay. So my area is equal to a one and uh, my pressure is equal to p one. Right side my area is equal to a two, my pressure is equal to p two, right? Okay, so how you get this pressure? Suppose you are pumping some liquid inside this pipe. Just take a part of it pipe, part of the pipe which is inclined like this. This is a generalized generalized case. Okay, so this is my p one, and uh, let us say this is b, and let us say this is a point c. Okay, so let me let me draw it like this. Okay, so maybe something like this. Okay, so this. So this is the uh, liquid entering, and this is the this is the liquid uh, that is going out. Okay, what do I say? This is the liquid that is going out. Okay, so. Let us say this is my B C and uh, this is named as B and this is named as E. Okay, sir. So this is my D and this is E. Okay. Okay. This is U one delta or U one delta. What is that? U one or V one? What is written here? V V. B one, ah, huh? here. V two. Okay, so how much uh, is this length? Okay, so this length is nothing but your v one into delta t, right? Suppose yeah. one second. So let us say delta t is one second. So in one second, let us say here the velocity is v one. So how in a delta t, if it is one second, how much distance it will move? V. Because velocity is equal to nothing but your distance by or displacement by time. So if you multiply it by time. You will get a length. Distance, okay. So distance. this is the distance it has moved, and here, let us say this velocity is v two at the exit point. Yeah. Okay. So v two into delta t. This this much distance it will it might have moved, right? So v v two into delta t. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. The the work done on the fluid at left end BC is equal to W one uh, is equal to P one into A one into uh, V one into delta T. Okay, so you you might have studied it like so we like uh, for the left end. Okay, the work done on the fluid on the left end. So on left end, left end. Okay, uh, work done on the fluid. Okay, work done on the fluid. so you uh, we we have studied in uh, your uh, like uh, thermodynamics or whatever you used to study that work done is equal to pressure into change in volume right yes pressure into change in volume why it is work done 
because pressure is nothing but your newton per meter square, meter square. and volume is nothing but your L meter cube so this become newton meter which is joule, joule. so pressure into delta v is the work done okay so here uh, so work done uh, work done in uh, at end bc is equal to pressure is p1 here and delta v okay okay yeah. okay so on delta v since the same volume delta v passes through both the region from the when the work done by the fluid at the end d e is equal to okay P2 so delta v. yeah since the same volume delta v passes through uh, passes through uh, d e d e okay so yeah uh, so um, yeah so work done d e is equal to p2 because their pressure is p2 okay so that it is not a constant pressure pressure is changing volume okay. is the same ah. so the volume because the volume will remain the same because your uh, whatever is coming it has to go out okay so the volume remains same right so it is p2 into delta v okay uh, because the region is is the same volume passes through both the regions okay so p2, p2 into delta v so this is actually this is otherwise called like w1 at end 1 this is w2 at end 2 okay so so the total work done on the fluid is equal to so so if you consider it as a single system at this end you are doing p1 delta v work at the other end you are doing p2 delta v work okay so if that is the case then your w1 minus w2 W1 minus W2 is equal to P1 minus P2 into delta V. Okay. Don't worry about the sign at this moment. Okay. okay. So you this is W1, this is W2. So at this end you are doing work W1, at the other end you are doing work W2. So W1 minus W2 is the net work done on the system. Yes. Okay. So net work done is equal to P1 minus P2 into delta V. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so so whatever work you have done, part of this is work done is always stored as energy in the system. Okay, so whatever work is done, that is used to change the kinetic energy of the fluid, and part goes to change the gravitational potential energy. So, uh, like, what is the gravitational potential energy here? Mg into h1, right? You know, potential energy is mgh1, right? Yeah. Mgh. So, what is the gravity? That is because of gravity. Okay, yeah. so Raised gravity is height. pulling you down. You against the gravity, you are trying to go up. So the higher you, the more is your height, the more is your gravitational energy. potential energy. Okay, so there is a difference between so at this side the gravitational potential energy is mgh2. Yes. Okay, so the change in gravitational potential, so change in uh, delta potential energy. Mg so change in H2 potential minus. energy is equal to mg into H2 h2 minus h1. h1. Okay, so this is mg into h2 minus h1 that is change in gravitational potential energy, and the other work is uh, will be used to increase the uh, velocity. Okay, the change in kinetic energy. So now you have done some work. Mm -hmm. This work will be stored as energy. Mm -hmm. So what are the two types of energy? Uh, uh, the two forms of energy in which it will be stored. Kinetic. One is gravitational potential energy, another is kinetic energy. energy. So let us say the velocity at this end is v2, the velocity at this end is v1. That's what we have done it here. Yeah. Okay. So my delta ke will be equal will become equal to half, half m v2 square minus v1 square. Half m into okay. Okay, so this is my change in potential energy. So total energy is huh. the addition of both. Huh. So so what will happen like now my w2 minus w1 is equal to mgh1 minus h2 or h2 minus h2 minus h1 okay there there yeah delta p yeah ah okay yeah, W1 minus W2, okay, 
इज इक्वल टू एम जी एच टू माइनस एच वन प्लस हाफ एम बी टू स्क्वायर माइनस बी वन स्क्वायर ओके एंड अगेन दिस वी नो डब्ल्यू वन माइनस डब्ल्यू टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस पी वन माइनस पी टू इंटू डेल ओके पी वन माइनस पी टू इंटू डेल्टा बी ओके डेल बी ओके डेल्टा बी ओके सो ओके सो दिस मास ओके सो द मास इज नथिंग बट योर डेंसिटी इंटू डेल्टा बी राइट मास इज नथिंग बट योर डेंसिटी इंटू डेल्टा बी दिस इज मास ओके इंटू डेल्टा बी यू कैन टेक एम आल्सो कॉमन फ्रॉम दैट ओके एम रो डेल्टा बी इंटू जी इंटू एच टू माइनस एच वन राइट देन सिमिलरली दिस विल बी हाफ क्लियर Okay, then here also mass I will put as rho delta v. Yeah, that, that is clear. Yeah. V two minus v one square. It's clear. Yeah. Okay, so now delta this delta v, v delta v I will cancel out from everywhere. Yeah. Okay, now my equation is okay. So now this equation can be simplified. Okay. So if this equation is getting simplified, what will become? What it will become like p one? Okay. Then this uh, rho g h one, okay, p one plus rho g h one. This h one will go this side, okay, plus half rho b one square, right? Yeah. This is this will go to the left side, and the right side will be p two plus rho g h two, okay, plus half rho b two square, yes. okay. So basically. This equation is the governing equation for Bernoulli's equation. Okay, so I will write it uh, in a better way here. P one plus rho g h one plus half rho b square is equal to P two plus rho g h two rho g h two plus half rho b two square. Okay, so this is. So this is your governing equation. Okay, this is your Bernoulli's governing equation. This should always you should remember. How you will remember? How is the formula like? You write it in the form of pressure. Okay. So this is pressure that you know, no doubt about that. And, and also you know rho g h is also pressure. Okay. I was telling that atmospheric pressure is equal to 760 mm of Hg. That means density of mercury. Okay. And 760 mm into acceleration due to gravity. So pressure and rho g h has same. Uh, rho g h is pressure. P1 is pressure. Everything is newton per meter square. Yeah. Okay. And just you have to remember, memorize it. The kinetic head half m b square will be half rho. Half m b square will be uh, unit will be newton meter because that is nothing but energy. Work and energy has equal unit joule. Okay. So half m b square is newton meter. If I divide this m by volume, okay, volume into b square, this become say uh, let me uh, write it as uh, vo volume. Okay, this is volume. Okay, so this become newton meter by meter cube. Okay, yeah. so the unit become newton per meter square, right? Yeah, which is so yeah. So that means uh, this is nothing but half rho b square. Okay, so just remember this. Half rho b square also will have pressure, uh, pressure, unit of pressure. So when you are adding three things, the it's everything should be pressure. Okay. So this particular term, this particular term is called as pressure head P one. This is called potential. The term head or the potential head, and this is called the velocity head. Okay. Uh, actually, this is uh, 
like this is the potential this is velocity and this is the kinetic so p1 plus rho g h1 okay if you want to make it header you have to divide it by rho g everywhere you have to divide it by rho g if you want to make it head so it will be p by rho g it will be h1 and all but if you want to write it in terms of pressure this is the one if you want to write it in terms of head you have to divide everything by rho g okay yeah. so um, this this equation uh, is a governing equation for bernoulli's uh, bernoulli's uh, principle okay so using this in, uh, equation you can interpret so many things okay so many different things you can interpret uh, for example uh, this aircraft okay so uh, this is let us say this is my aircraft okay so so let us say this is this is the wing of the aircraft okay so uh, this aircraft if you take a section your wing will look, look like this okay this is a cross section okay so it will it will start from here and the air will it will cut the air suppose the air is flowing like this so it will cut the cross section and it, let us say the velocity here this is the point 1 and here the po this is point 2 okay so this distance this distance is actually more this is a more curved curve one curve one this distance is less okay but if you start at uh, if it is covering uh, uh, we, in the same time interval it will cover more distance here in the same time interval it will cover less distance here because it is almost flat whereas this is curved yes if this is the case on the top your velocity let us say it is v2 on the bottom your velocity is let us say v1 mm. so this v2 is higher v2 is greater than v1 because it is covering more distance for a given time interval yes if that is the case your velocity will be higher on the top surface Understood. okay so when the velocity is higher on the top surface let us say uh, this wing uh, it is moving in a horizontal uh, distance so h1 is equal to h2 so your equation will get simplified to p1 plus half rho v uh, this is v1 sorry v1 rho v1 square is equal to p2 plus half rho v2 square okay this is the governing equation now we said uh, that in a, in a aircraft let us say this point is uh, here it is this is uh, suffix 2 uh, this is suffix 1 okay so now on the upper surface your velocity and pressure sir v2 p2 on the lower surface your velocity and pressure sir v1 p1 so now on the top surface your v2 is higher yeah. that means you are on the top surface your p2 will be lesser otherwise when you add it will remain constant okay. so if the velocity is higher the pressure is less that means when the pressure is less sir Very pressure good. into area is force so on the upper surface you have less force on the lower surface you have more force so let us say the on the upper surface the force acting is fu okay on the lower surface the force acting is fl okay so there will be a differential force acting on it so fl minus fu will be the net force fl minus fu will be the net force acting on the aircraft okay so this will be equal to the weight of the aircraft okay weight of aircraft okay so if you are see there are weight which is major hundreds of tons okay so like say a380 aircraft is 600 tons 1 ton is 1000 kg so 600 1000 kg that means 6 lakh kg that kind of lift it can generate okay so how this lift is getting generated by using bernoulli's principle we can explain this okay and why we are using this air of oil surface because we want turbulent uh, streamlined flow okay we don't want too much of resistance if you instead of aerofoil cross section if you cut the if you cut the wing and uh, if it is if you cut it here and if you are getting a rectangular cross section there will be too much of resist resistance so that's why we go for aerofoil cross section okay so now with this we have uh, explained uh, this uh, bernoulli's principle and equation of continuity so using this uh, in the next session we will try to solve say some 8 to 10 numericals and uh, now you have understood these are the two governing equation okay so on this governing equation the principle of venturi meter okay so the principle of venturi meter uh, is uh, based on uh, bernoulli's principle only okay so one side the area is high one side the area is less so the venturi meter hmm. uh, which is used to measure the pressure in a pipeline venturi meter is used to measure the pressure in a pipeline 
so uh, sorry to velocity to measure the velocity okay uh, uh, so okay we will uh, cover that density meter and uh, there is something called e flux uh, e or whatever so there are some numericals we will solve but the basic governing principle are these two only okay we can solve n number of numericals using these two principles okay so if you are clear on the principle it will be easy for you to solve the numericals okay yes is it clear or not yes so bernoulli principle is total energy remains constant so on one cross section on one side there will be three types of energy one is pressure energy kind one is velocity or kinetic energy one is potential energy so addition of kinetic energy plus potential plus energy pressure. plus pressure energy uh, on one cross section at any cross section it will remain constant okay so this you have to by heart this formula p1 plus half uh, rho v1 square plus is equal to p2 plus half rho v2 square okay okay this one you will remember just uh, most of the cases this h1 will be equal to h2 uh, but you can remember the complete thing rho g h1 okay, okay. Uh, even this i was uh, teaching you earlier this heart attack thing how it happens okay suppose you have some artery okay you you have some artery okay so uh, when uh, the heart attack happens actually basically when there is uh, this uh, fat deposit on the arteries so what will happen the fat will get deposited here okay the fat gets deposited slowly slowly the fat gets deposited okay so it will so sometimes many people will have 60% 70% 80% blockage so when you have some something like 80% blockage in your artery this blood which is flowing here because of this constriction what will happen this area of flow will be only this much mm -hmm. because area has decreased the velocity will increase here yeah. it will rush at a very high speed if the velocity decreases here the pressure will, uh, the velocity will increase here pressure. the pressure will decrease if the pressure is decreasing but outside the artery whatever external pressure is yeah. acting it will try to collapse this artery okay. so it will completely block the blood so that will cause heart attack okay uh, so uh, there are many things uh, even the spinning of the ball once i was explaining you when the spinner is just spinning the ball okay when it is spinning the ball on the top surface of the ball your pressure will be less on the bottom surface of the ball your your pressure will be um, pressure will be more okay so that it will not be follow the path of a projectile okay so a spin bowler what does he do he just spins the ball when the ball is spinning okay so uh, it is not only moving in this direction it is also spinning mm. when it is spinning in addition to this velocity there will be an additional velocity here mm. whereas this velocity there will be a subtraction of velocity here because if you take the tangent this is additional here if you take the tangent it is subtraction here mm. so here it will be v1 plus uh, sorry v2 plus delta v whereas here it will be v1 minus delta v okay so your velocity is high means your pressure is less okay your pressure is less and your velocity is low means your pressure is high so when the ball is uh, when the spinner is spinning the ball it is adding a additional velocity component to this or on the upper side ha on the upper side that's why the pressure is decreasing so the batsman cannot predict the suppose the ball i am just uh, throwing the ball the batsman can easily okay this is in this direction it is going to come but good spinners can spin the ball in such a way that he will not it will not right. follow the pro actual projectile path it will deviate from the projectile path so if it deviates from the projectile path it is very difficult for him to predict so he, he can spin it like this some people can spin it like this also so you can spin both in, uh, in this direction also you can spin it about the horizontal axis you can spin it about the vertical axis also So if you spin it uh, and mix the spin, it will be very difficult to predict. Okay, if it is, you are spinning it like this, it will go somewhere uh, very difficult. So those spinners and they this things also is uh, there is something called ball tampering. Okay, so when they throw the cricket ball, they will rub it on their um, uh, leg and uh, they will make it uh, the, the the cricketers will make it such way that one surface one side it will be very rough, other side it will not be rough. so because when it becomes very rough then ball uh, the spinner will get much better speed because of the differential pressure 
so all these phenomena that heart attack or this um, coriolis effect and uh, spinning of the cricket ball all these things and even this aircraft many many things are explained by the yeah, by the help with the help of bernoulli field theory okay so uh, now you uh, write down these formulas okay these formulas you have to write down and we will have to solve like venturi meter or uh, manometer uh, like how to measure the pressure and we will solve that uh, we, we can solve 10 to 20 numericals related to this okay so that it will be easy for you okay okay